I'm in my car again, and I'm at an airport, and I'm in Chicago, and I'm going to Omaha, and I'm seeing Floor, and I'm seeing Bleachers, and I'm seeing Jack Antonoff's childhood bedroom. The drive this morning was really awful. I'm really tired. I was supposed to leave at 3, but I fell asleep at 2.45. Um, I tried to fall asleep at 6 p.m. Didn't fall asleep until 2.45, so I left at 3.45. So I got about 45 minutes of sleep today so far. Um, it's great. My flight is in like four hours because I'm always paranoid I'm gonna miss it even though I'm four hours early. Acting like I'm a stranger, look like I've been up all night. And you know what? I hate it. I'm finally in my hotel room. So far, everything that's been happening has been an absolute dream. Like, my flight was delayed by like a half an hour um, earlier, but that's fine. That just meant that I was um, three and a half hours early instead of three hours early. Um, but it also didn't, it meant that I didn't have to like wander around as much when I finally got to Omaha, um, which is really nice. Even though it is like an absolutely gorgeous day out. Like I'm looking out onto the like Missouri River right now and like downtown and well there's a casino like right there, but still that's attached to the hotel. Um, I'm not going there, but Oh my gosh, this is not really what I thought this would be. Not really what I thought this trip would be at all. Um, but it's so good, like, it's so good. Up until this week, I wasn't really, like, as excited as I am to see Bleachers, but now I really am. And now that I've heard Floor's album, which, like, came out on Friday, so two days ago, um, it's everything I ever wanted. Um, I think I tweeted this, but I was like, if you were to like to open up my soul, it would just be Come Out Your Hiding, which is the name of their album. Um, because it's everything I've ever wanted. Like it's the exact sound that I absolutely love. I'm super excited and this is a dream. And I can't believe that this is real. And I'm so glad I did this. <laughs>
crouch down over here because I have so much energy, so I'm never gonna fall asleep. This is really bad. This jacket is in my way. Um, the tag's still on, that was sticking to my back. Okay, it's been 39 hours, and I've only slept an hour and a half in those 39 hours. Um, can you tell? I have so much energy. That was probably the second best show of the year for me. Um, the first one was just a very, like, my, like, number one is, like, a very, very sentimental show, so that's why it's number one, but for the year, that went up so high. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love floor. I love bleachers. Let's start with bleachers. Sorry. I, ow. Bleachers. What did I witness tonight? That was incredible. I have never seen a show put on that way in my life. Like, I go to shows all the time, and I, that was so beyond what I expected. Like, I expected a lot, because I expect a lot of, uh, like, Jack Antonoff. I expect so much of him, but I did not expect that. That went so above and beyond what I thought it, that show would be. Bleachers is otherworldly. That was such a surreal thing. The songs are so good. They just kept playing new song after new song. Um, some of them weren't planned. They like they didn't. They were. They've never played them in front of a crowd before. Um, and this was like their first time in Omaha ever, except for like one music festival. But like it's, it was their first time in Omaha ever. So I saw one of their firsts, which is my favorite thing. I love seeing people's firsts live. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. We, okay, I can't talk about bleachers. I need to talk about floor. Can we talk about floor? Oh my God, of course I can talk about floor. I'm the only one here. <laughs> First of all, can I just preface this by saying floor has been in my life for a very long time. I don't know if you watched my last video um, from the Haley vlog, Haley Kyoko vlog, um, floor opened for Haley. And the very next day I bought a flight to here, like to Omaha. Um, because I missed them. That that was it. And I was like, release week. That was my excuse, but I was like, I just missed them. Um, but really, release week. I needed to go see release week <laughs> so bad. That was amazing. It was so amazing. They put on such a great show every single time. And like, you get put, like, when you're listening to this music, you get put into a completely different world not really just like lightweight and like easy going and all that stuff but just like fun even like the heavy stuff you can turn it around and make it fun and i haven't even talked about their album um that was just released which is one of my favorite things in the entire universe i have not stopped listening to it i think at this moment since it's only been out for since friday so like three days it's my second favorite album of the year the next part their show! I can't describe their shows. Their shows, their lighting, their lighting, their lighting. Bleacher's lighting is amazing. Floor's lighting, oh my goodness. I love lighting. <laughs> and they kill it every time. I love this band so much that I would do this a hundred times again. Like, I think last year I said the only band I would ever fly for is the Airs, but... The only bands I would ever truly fly for are the Airs and Floor. They made it so worthwhile. I got to talk to them at the end and they were just so sweet. Um, I had tweeted them. Flying to Omaha was one of my favorite decisions because I, I was so emotional during their set. Like I was like, oh, I wasn't, <laughs> not like that, but like, I hope you could. I was very emotional um, because I was just so happy to be a part of this like I'm just, oh my gosh but they saw the tweet and they tweeted me back and they're like that's amazing like they're like where'd you fly from and I was like Chicago but I'm from Wisconsin and they were like that's crazy we so appreciate it so like after the show like I went up and talked to them I bought the hat you can't see it but it's really really cute it's it does say floor on the side but you can't really tell because you're looking at this. Also, I bought their album. I did pre-order, ooh, I did pre-order it, but um, it's supposed to come tomorrow, but I'm not getting home until Tuesday, so. I have a second one because I'm gonna be home a day late. 
we need to talk about Caitlin's artwork because if she put this on the canvas, I would buy 15 of them. Um, probably not because they're expensive and I'm not that, I don't have that much money, but just look, look at that artwork. That is, <sighs> Caitlin, I love your work so much. Just in case you ever saw this, you won't, but oh my God, I love your work so much. They did ask me, they're like, have we met you before? And I was like, yeah. They, it, there was like a very brief second on all of their faces um, of, oh shit. <laughs> like, oh man, we don't know this girl. She flew here for us. But like, shh, I don't care. Like, they don't have to know my name. They don't have to remember my name. They don't, they were, I know Dylan was like, we'll have to remi like, remember you as the girl who flew. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> They're so sweet. Like, I couldn't stop thanking them, and I can't stop smiling. And even, like, Zach was like, that was one of their favorite things that they were a part of, and he can't stop smiling. But I was like, I can't stop smiling either. Like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This... <laughs> Have you ever been so happy in your life? These are the reasons why I travel for things that I love. If you have the chance to do this, do it. I cannot stress that enough. Like... If you have the chance to go out of your way and travel for something that you love, don't question it. <laughs> Do not question it because it will be worth it. If you really, really love it, it won't let you down. And if it does let you down, well, that sucks, but my name's Kristen. Thanks for watching. I really love floor and bleachers. Between Jack's room and getting to experience that and seeing them live on stage for the first time, I am for, I'm, I'm forever changed. I hate myself. I'm forever changed and floor. I would fly for them any day. I would, I would go anywhere for them any day. I'll see you soon. That's a promise. Bye. <laughs> So what you just missed was the fact that I thought I lost my key and I took everything out of my backpack, like my car key to get home because I still have to drive three and a half hours. Um, I thought I lost it and um, I took everything out of my backpack and I was freaking out and I ended up calling my mom and she was almost ready to get into her car to leave and then it was stuck in the lining of my backpack. But I only found that out after 15 minutes of searching for it, so my mom wants me to never have a problem at a concert ever again. That's not fun. <laughs>